there friends, Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my five favorite activities that I like to do when introducing students to addition or teaching them how to add. Okay, these are great activities. You could do them even down to preschoolers or um, I love to use them with kindergartners and first graders. Let me share with you these five activities. Okay, my first favorite activity is I like to use an abacus when I am teaching addition. So here's the abacus that I have. I usually pair the abacus up with some magnetic letters or with another pre-prepared activity, but today I'm gonna to show you with magnetic letters. So I have a cookie sheet here, and I'm just gonna place the cookie sheet in front of the, the abacus. And then what we're going to do is we are going to use some number magnets that I have in this container. I love to keep all of my letters kind of and numbers, I guess these are numbers, right? In one of these containers, these are just, in, you can find them like in your craft store. They, they hold beads. And then I just sort out just different number manipulatives in containers like these. Uh, I keep them in these. And then I also keep some of my number manipulatives in little bins like this that you can lock. And those are really nice too. I have some links to these in my um, description box if you check out the Amazon affiliate store and you can maybe find the same ones that I'm using. Okay, so what I do is I'll just take out two numbers. So let's take out six plus three, okay? So let's just do some basic addition here. Now, these activities I'm gonna show you are activities that I like to use when I'm introducing addition or we're just starting with addition. Okay, so it's not for advanced students who have already memorized their, their addition facts or something like that. This is for students who are um, just starting out learning addition. Okay, so we are going to pretend like we are adding six plus three, and I just have some like blocks and dice here to represent six plus three. But another thing you could do if you don't have, you know, manipulatives like I do to represent the signs is you could go ahead and grab a dry erase marker since I am working on a cookie sheet. So let's take those away for a second. And let me show you how you would do that. You could just write directly on your cookie sheet and write six plus three equals. So I'm gonna write my plus sign and my equal sign. Okay, just like that. And now we are gonna go ahead and show the students how to use the abacus to add six plus three. So I'm going to tell them we're going to use the blue and the red. So we are going to have six. So let's count six. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus three more. One, two, three, makes how many all together? This is an awesome way to visually show the students how to do this because then they can physically touch each one as they count because they're just beginning to make connections in their brain that we are going to add more, okay? So they can count six and then count three more. Seven, eight, nine, by touching them with their fingers, they're getting that physical touch so that their brain is making the connection that these are actual amounts of something that we are doing. We're just not looking at numbers, we're actually adding amounts, okay? So we have six, seven, eight, nine, and then of course our answer is nine, so I would, have my students use their magnetic letters again, find their answer and place it in the number sentence, okay? So that is activity number one, is for you to use an abacus. Love using an abacus to introduce and teach addition. Okay, my second favorite activity for teaching children to add is this build and add activity center. This comes from my early learners math curriculum. It's one of the math curriculums that I have written on 
my um, website. I will leave links below to everything that you see in this video if I can. So be sure to check out the description box. But this activity comes from that curriculum. You can buy this activity separately. You can get it from the curriculum. Um, but anyways, let me just show you how it works. I like this one because the students are going to build the addition problems. So they're going to take um, a card. This is five plus two. Of course, you can see that. I'm just going to take that one and set the other cards off to the side. Now, this has, obviously, you can see construction workers on it because they're building, okay, which I think is kind of fun. And then um, you can build with multiple different um, objects. So I'm going to show you that. The first set of objects I have here, these are snap cubes. And I love this set of snap cubes. You can check them out. I'll have a link below to these. They come from Game Note, they come from Amazon, and there will be a code in the description box that you can use to get a percent off um, if you use that code. But these snap cubes, I, I like them because they're very, very colorful, but you can get them anywhere. And um, what the students do is they build the numbers. So I'm gonna build five orange, and I like to use these orange ones because they're so bright. One, two, three, four, five, plus two. We're gonna pick another color. Let's do blue. Okay, and they put them right in the box like that. All right, and once they've built five plus two, they're going to actually take those blocks, put them together, and count how many that makes. Five, six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. I'm going to put, and now I can use a dry erase marker to put by seven. Okay, so you could always pull out your dry erase markers, oops, and have your students write a seven. But if, let's say you're working with really young students like preschoolers who understand math concepts, but they're, they're not great at writing yet. You could use your manipulatives again. So let's use the blocks and I'm, I would have them find seven and then just place that on their card for their answer. Or again, you could just have them write their answer. Okay, so there's an example. You can use snap cubes. Another um, thing that you might want to use, any really small manipulatives that you want to use, you can use. I have some pom-poms here that have magnets on the bottom of them, and you could have them count out with the pom-poms. So here they would put five in this box. And again, they are building the numbers, okay? So I built five in this box. I'm gonna build two in this box. And then I'm gonna count how many that makes all together. Five, six, seven. These are great because they can touch them with their fingers again. They're counting um, physically the amounts. And then they're going to find seven. This time I'm going to show you these. These are puzzle pieces from a Melissa and Doug number puzzle. Okay, once they have done that one, of course, this activity comes with multiple different numbers, so they could go on and do more. My third favorite activity for teaching students addition or introducing addition to little ones is touch point math. Now, I have a whole video on how I teach touch point math, so if you're interested in that, I will try to remember to leave a link down in the description box to my touch point math video. But this is one of my touch point math activities. It is called touch point addition match. And um, I will again leave a link to this in the description box. It comes with cards uh, with 10 frames and then it comes with the uh, touch point addition cards. Let's use this one, all right. So we're gonna use three plus five. Now, if you don't know anything about touch, po touch point math, uh, touch point math uses the actual numerals in the numbers, and the students have specific points that they can touch on the number to count. Okay, so as you can see, this three here has three white dots. So those are the touch points. And then five, the five here has five white dots. So those are the touch points that help the students add so that they can recreate these points in their brain when they see a math problem and they can physically add it in their head by looking at the numeral, okay? Um, so let's just show you, for example, if I was going to do this activity with my students, I would show them how to do it by, um, I would give them, probably we would start out by using manipulatives on the numbers. 
So I would have them uh, use, I'll probably use these. But before we do that, what the students have to do is they have to find a representation of three plus five on their cards, okay? So this would be two plus one. So they're just gonna go through until they see three plus five. And here I have found the card that shows three plus five. So they're going to see the representation of the number. Then they're going to add it on their card. So then I would have the students use these pom-poms to count it out. They could just touch the dots with their fingers to count, but another fun way to do it is have them place a pom-pom on each one of the dots. So here I have three plus five. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three plus five equals eight. And then the last step is to write a number eight in the box or use your manipulatives, find a number eight and place it in the box. Okay, so there's touch point math. I have a handful of other touch point math activities on my website. And so if you're interested, I will try to leave links below to those as well. But be sure to watch that other video too, where I go more in depth on those activities. Okay, this next activity, we are going to be using stamps. And I don't know what it is, but kids love stamps. And so, for this activity, what I like to do is I like to give my students two numbers to add, obviously. So we're gonna add two plus three. So what I would do is I would just either write two plus three on the paper, or like I just did here, I put these magnets on here, two plus three, and then they're gonna use their stamps. I just have some animals here, and they're going to stamp it out. So I'm going to stamp two cats here, Okay, so we have two cats stamped and three turtles stamped, and then you'd have the students count it out. One, two, three, four, five. How many does that make all together? That makes five. They could either write five, or of course they could use one of their manipulatives, place it on the paper, and you would have five. Just a fun way to get the students involved because they love, I don't know about your kids, but my students love stamps. So a great way for them to count it out, they could stamp it. Now, I just wanna show you one more thing with this activity. Another fun way is instead of using stamps, I love to let my students use Play-Doh because what kid doesn't love Play-Doh, right? And so another way you could have them physically make the numbers is they could take their Play-Doh and they could roll Play-Doh balls. So I'm gonna roll two, And if I put those all together, one, two, three, four, five, it makes five. So let's put them all together. Now we have five and you can have them find five. Okay, so that was activity number four. I kind of snuck in two into there, a stamp and a Play-Doh activity, but that's my favorite way, number four. And now let me show you my last, my fifth favorite way to teach addition. Activity number five, the fifth way I love to teach my students how to do addition. Now this activity I created back in 2022 when I was trying to think of a fun way to use our little math teddy bears and I wanted to be able to teach my preschooler a really concrete way to add using our teddy bears. And so that's what I did, I made this activity. So it has this mat here that I placed into a plastic sleeve. And then it comes with the teddy bear cards that I created. And it has some number circles, okay? So what the students do is they place one of the addition cards on the mat they have their teddy bears here and they're gonna physically match up the colors. Okay, so I have now counted six red bears over here. I matched up my bears. 
to the paper. And now I'm going to find the number six and place it in my addition sentence. Six plus two equals, let's count them all together. I already know I have six, so let's just count on. Seven, eight. Where's my number eight? And I place it in my addition sentence. And then you always have the students reread the sentence to you out loud because you wanna make sure they're understanding how to read the signs so that you want them to be able to say plus and equals and all the numbers. So it will say six plus two equals eight. Yay, you did it. Let's do another one. So you would take off all the bears. And of course you would just grab another card and do it all over again. So there you have it friends. Those are my five favorite ways to teach addition. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like my videos, please remember to like them, hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Happy learning. Bye.